the background you see my old RV. It's a Van Hall T809 Heidecker, born in 87 as the 36 persons travel coach. She has a 5.7 liter diesel and she has a problem. She has a bad breath and she's a smoker. Let me show you. When the season starts and I wake her up from hibernation... Now is that bad? Well, I like to think so, it's bad for our planet. But even if you don't care about that, let's take a look at the neighbors. Welcome to my neighbors. Hi. Hi. Who like to go camping? Yes, they do. Prepare food outside, take out the laundry to dry, Yes, they like that too. And then I start my engine. I'm pretty sure they will be crossed with me. And they do have a point there. So either way, yes, she has a problem. Now you could say, get rid of her, buy a new one. But I'm in love with her. So let's do an experiment and find out if there is still a future for her old diesel engine with a new fuel. Usually I feed her conventional diesel. But this time I fill her up with GTL. Now what is GTL? GTL stands for gas to liquids. It's a way of making diesel not out of crude oil, but out of natural gas. Simplified, you pump up natural gas, do some complicated things with it, and at the end, diesel fuel comes out. Shell makes this stuff together with Qatar Petroleum at their pearl plant in Qatar and together they convert 1.6 billion cubic feet of natural gas a day. Now a few characteristics of GTL compared with conventional diesel. GTL hardly contains aromatics and polyaromatics, 90% less sulfur, toxic emissions are low and GTL is biodegradable. Shell claims that you can mix GTL with conventional diesel that you can use it in every diesel engine and that your engine will run cleaner and smoke a lot less. Sounds like my kind of fuel. So the questions in this experiment are is GTL better for the environment? Is it better for my neighbors? And can I use it in my old diesel engine? And the overall question, would I recommend it? Let's find out. Starting with a question about those camping neighbors. Hi. Hi. Just a small black cloud at the start, and then it's gone. Gone. And gone. So that seems to work. Are they happy now? Yes, they are. So the answer to that question is yes. GTL is a lot better for my neighbors. So the next question is, is GTL better for the environment? Well, the answer to that one looks simple, but it isn't. Considering GTL's characteristics and the lower emissions coming out of your exhaust pipe, you would expect a large environmental gain. But there isn't. Why? Because Shell isn't being completely honest. They claim that natural gas is the cleanest burning fossil fuel, and that is true. But in your car, or your RV, or your boat, you're not burning natural gas, you're burning GTL. And the process of making GTL out of natural gas takes so much energy that globally it doesn't make any difference. Simplified, the filthy stuff that is not coming out of your exhaust pipe anymore is coming out of these big pipes in Qatar. So it will make a difference here and here. But if you think global, it won't. Third question is, can I use GTL in my old diesel engine? First the upsides. You can mix GTL with conventional diesel, so no worries there. And GTL is winter and bacteria proof. So you won't need any additives anymore. But there are a few downsides too. GTL is not available everywhere. In my country, the Netherlands, you will find about 10 to 20 stations where you can get it. In Germany, for instance, I haven't found one yet. Second downside, 
it is a little bit more expensive than conventional diesel. Let's say 10 to 20 cents a liter. And then the third downside, and that's an important one. Shell says that GTL might damage the seals in your fuel system. For instance, your fuel pump. And I can tell you, in my engine, it did. And that's because of the old-fashioned NBR gaskets in the fuel pump. They cannot handle this modern fuel. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. So I have to take her to the doctor. No, not that one. Yes, that one. Where they take her fuel pump out, put no gaskets in it, and put it up for the final test. So back on the road, with a repaired heart, we get to the overall question. Would I recommend GTL for your old diesel engine? Well, let's put it in perspective. GTL offers only a local environmental gain. It is better for your neighbors, but it's most probably worse for your old diesel engine. So unless you take into account that you might have to adapt your fuel pump, which is pretty expensive, I would most certainly not recommend the use of GTL in your old diesel engine. Now is there besides GTL another alternative fuel? Yes there is and it's called blue diesel. And it's much better in many ways. Hold it, I'm going a bit too fast here. First the name, yes it's called blue diesel but it has many names. Blue diesel, sustainable diesel, green diesel. Pro Diesel, Renewable Diesel, and finally HVO. In this video I will refer to it as Blue Diesel, because it actually is blue. And when I'm talking about Blue Diesel, I mean B100, which is 100% Blue Diesel. So not the blends B20, B30 or B50. Secondly, I said Blue Diesel is better in many ways. A disclaimer is needed here. I did not experience leaking and gasket or seal problems with blue diesel, but I tested blue diesel after the diesel doctor provided my fuel pump with modern gaskets. So there is no guarantee that you won't meet with that problem with blue diesel. Now let's fill her up with it. This is going to take some time because her fuel tank can contain 260 liters. So meanwhile, we can have a look at what this blue stuff is. The best name for this product is HVO, which means Hydro Treated Vegetable Oil. The basic ingredients for blue diesel are vegetable oils like animal fat and oils and fat coming from the food industry, and then are treated with hydrogen. Blue diesel is chemically similar to petroleum diesel, so it has the same molecular structure as petroleum diesel. By the way, biological diesel does not, so it is not the same. Now let's take a look at the characteristics of blue diesel compared with GTL. Apart from the green graphic bar, the emissions of both products are similar. I'll get back to you on that green one later. For both products you may double or even triple the blue and grey bar depending on the old age of your engine. So my expectations for blue diesel are high, the tank is finally filled, and I want to give it a try. Now that looks great, no smoke, no bad smell, no smoke here, not here, and no smoke here. Now let's see whether these camping neighbors agree, with their outside food and their outside laundry. Do they agree? Yes, they do. So the answer to that question is yes, blue diesel is a lot better for my neighbors. Second question, is it also better for the environment? To answer that one, we will have to go back to the graphic bars. 
First a little sidestep. The black bars stand for the reduced sulfur in both products. And the reduced smoke coming out of my exhaust pipe is mainly caused by the lack of sulfur in both GTL and blue diesel. So if your diesel engine failed the suit test or emission test or you worry about it, just fill up your tank with either GTL or blue diesel and you can be sure it will pass. Back to the graphic bars and then especially this green one. Where GTL has a carbon dioxide reduction of only 1% in the chain from well to wheel, blue diesel decreases your carbon footprint with 89%. The reason for that is the origin. Blue diesel is fossil free. So the answer to the second question is yes. Blue diesel is a lot better for the environment. Third question is, can I use blue diesel in my old diesel engine? Yes, you can. And there are a few nice upsides. First one. You can mix blue diesel with conventional diesel without any problem. There are even blends available. Second upside, blue diesel has a slightly higher cetane rating. And that gives your engine more efficiency and power. After 3000 kilometers using this blue stuff, I can say in my RV that means 10% more kilometers to the liter. Third one, blue diesel is winter and bacteria proof, which is an advantage, especially for yachts and RVs that are not used for a big part of the year. Does blue diesel have downsides too? Yes, it does. First one, its availability. In my country, the Netherlands, there's about 20 stations. But that number is increasing rapidly. And even big players like Exxon and Shell are starting to sell blue diesel or at least blends. Second downside is the price. It's more expensive than conventional diesel. And that can go up to about 30 cents a liter. So that's a lot. On the other hand, in my case, that price difference is for a big Just part a compensated by the better kilometers to the liter ratio. Now considering all this input, would I recommend it? So yes, I would most certainly recommend to use blue diesel in your old diesel engine. And that brings me to the final conclusion of this test. I'd say no to GTL and yes to blue diesel. Do you agree or disagree or know of any other results of these two fuels? Please let me know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like. And see you in the next video. Bye.